Hello and welcome. In this quick video I'll be showing you how to activate the system temporary licensing on the NEC SV8100, SV9100 and the SL11 and 2100s. Now there are some basics that you will need to access the phone system with. I'm assuming you already have these but it's basically the IP address, installer level passwords, a local or remote NEC proprietary handset and the system programming login code which is usually hash star hash star by default but in this particular example you'll see that it's been changed due to the numbering plan that was needed. So if you start off by opening a customer's database with PC Pro the default password and username is tech and one two three four five six seven eight and when that eventually opens, I'll connect. There we go. So if you go up the top left, click on connect, and you'll have all your credentials in there already. And then you've got the top two feature activation. And you'll see that all the licenses are in there and turned off if they're not in there. So you can see that this system is not unlocked yet. So we'll have to click on disconnect. Okay, before we go any further, as I mentioned before, the code on this system has been changed from default. So on the left hand side, if you go to 11.15.05, and you can see that the code is now set to four star four. And in the bubble that pops up, you can see that the default code is hash star hash star. So most likely your system is set to hash star hash star still. Okay, so now we're moving on over to the handset. So you'll need PC Pro software disconnected before you go on. So on the handset, you dial speaker 4 star 4, like so. And the password is 12345678. Then transfer, and the code to enter is 9037010. Okay, and you have to enter a date range and then you just enter 10 and transfer it's a day range sorry not a date range then you hit the answer key twice and then speaker and that'll take you out of the programming so you must know that uh, on a SV8100 you can do it and it won't freeze the system but I have found that on a SV9100 if you do the code it does freeze the system meaning whoever is on the call can finish off on their call, but any new calls cannot be made until the system is rebooted. Okay, so the next step is to reconnect to the SV9100 or the NEC system, whatever one you're using. So connect. So once it's connected, you go up the top and click on tools and then system initialize you tick second initialize you confirm and you hit ok and system will be rebooting now so we'll go over to the handset if it's a digital handset it'll reboot pretty much as soon as the system does if it's an IP handset it'll take its time depending on how long it takes to lose connection to the system so it'll be flashing away and then it'll do its reboot and reconnect to the system and we'll just have to wait and the best way to wait guys is to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm it really helps me a lot so I would appreciate it if you do So we're getting close because it's saying connecting now. So anytime soon. And there we go. 
so the handset's connected again so that means the system's back up so we can go back to the PC Pro software and home connect and connect again and then up the top feature activation and as you can see all the licenses are now on and this will all be on for 10 days and you can do this procedure over and over again unlimited times you just need access to a handset locally and don't forget to log out before you close everything up don't want to leave the session open thank you for watching guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe it really helps me out as i do like making these videos for you guys thank you